So we're gonna work on doing a pressure bandage, which is mostly just to keep your patient from bleeding when it has a cut on your way into the hospital to get it like primarily fixed if they need stitches or something. So we have a nice little chunk of gauze. Um, and then what we have here is cast padding. And this will be like our first layer that we wrap on. And it's just the light little fluffy stuff. And then what will go on top next is cling rack, which is like our big roll of gauze. And then everybody's favorite part for on top, the pretty colored vet wrap. Mm -hmm. um, or they just got like self cohesive wrap if you get the off brand, which works just as well. So we will start just with our nice clean pad right on there and have a friend hold it. So with an injury this far down, the next joint up that's really big is gonna be their wrist. Um, so that's gonna be like where we're trying to wrap over. So cast padding, um, starting kind of at the edge of the toes and over where our thing is. And it's just fine when you're doing toes. Um, it's actually helpful if you leave a little toe sticking out. And that's a good way to tell if you accidentally made your bandage too tight. If their toes start getting either cold to the touch or turning a little purple or starting to get big and swollen, um, you can see their toenails kind of split apart, you know that you've made your wrap a little bit too tight just to over the elbow to help stay on. And then I'm just gonna go back down and then we'll do our wrap, um, starting with our snail and getting, you know, you can pull a little bit, but keeping it nice and even not trying to crank down on anything like just the pressure of a light bandage will stop most bleeding making sure we get over 50 percent on each on each wrap are nice pretty on the outside making sure you cover up all of your your white gauze and then start going down over 50 percent sort of the middle color and this is the same as the padding. Either you can cut it while you're here and just call that a day, or if you don't want to ruin your roll like me, because I want to reuse it, you can just wrap back down. Again, especially with double layers of stuff, you want to make sure you're not putting it on too tight because it'll crank down even more, especially this vet wrap. Just briefly some information on um, bandage care at home. Like if you wrap it, they get to the vet. He got his paw pad all stitched up and then you're sent home with the bandage. So lots of times if you have um, a dog likes to fuss with it, um, they have to wear the, the cone of shame as well as their bandage and it's just a sad day. Yeah. If it's wet, everything underneath is going to be wet and we don't want that with bandages. So if it gets wet, just take it out all off. We always recommend you take them back to your vet to get it rewrapped and that just helps them keep tabs on how it's healing and that way if they're getting their eyes on it more often if something's going wrong. So definitely unless your vet kind of walks you through how to do it um, and gives you instructions for home, I just take them back in.